We got a total today of 150.75. Initiative 976 calls for a $30 cap on car tab, eliminating extra funds currently charged when you renew your tab. The state says that would mean billions of dollars in losses for sound transit projects and state transportation plans. And if 976 passes, more than 60 cities across the state, like Olympia, would lose the ability to charge drivers extra fees for city road projects. It goes to uh, road repair, the chip sealing, filling in potholes. Olympia stands to lose $1.5 million a year from car tab fees if voters approve 976. There is no other pot. It goes away. The city council voted to oppose the initiative and this week mailed out flyers detailing what's at stake. And in the two-sided mailer, voters are urged to vote no six times. It is so blatantly illegal, it's just not even a close call. Initiative sponsor Tim Iman says Olympia's flyer violates state law. And the state's Public Disclosure Commission is investigating. State law allows governmental agencies to send out informative flyers presenting facts but the literature cannot endorse or oppose measures. Vote in November. Iman, who himself has been under PDC investigations, does not expect the city to get in much trouble. The pigs that are feeding at the trough are perfectly fine doing illegal stuff because at the end of the day they're saying we've got to stop this initiative because too many people want to get their car tabs back down to 30 bucks. I think the city feels that it's it's within the guidelines. Olympia spokesperson Kelly Brossett says the city has the right to inform the public and did not go too far with the flyer. The no statement is a fair conclusion based on those objective facts, and it's also in keeping with the position publicly stated by our council. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. The city of Olympia sent more than 7,000, or spent rather, more than $7,000 in taxpayer money printing and mailing those flyers. The Public Disclosure Commission has asked for a response from the city by the end of the month.